We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Listen, so there was a lot of hype, a lot of uh, talk about this Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight. Now I'm saying it just went down. Disaster. Uh, this past year, <laughs> this past weekend. Know what I'm saying this might be one of them pictures, you know, this flick right here might be one of the iconic pictures that you just walk in a motherfucking house and that shit just hanging on the wall. <laughs> know what I'm saying? This joint right here might turn into one of them. That's a fire pick. Uh, that is definitely that a fire pick. Yeah. Uh, he got a yo, couple. So, <laughs> first of all, now I'm saying this, uh, a super upset. I mean, if if we talking about, if we talking, you know, Vegas wise, you know what I'm saying, yeah. mm-hmm. odds wise, you know, I believe uh, Ryan was like a plus plus five hundred underdog, if I'm not mistaken. That's, that's you know just respect for the like. Uh, and, and he put the. You know what I'm saying? He put the, the beats on Devin, man. I ain't even going to cap. You know what I'm saying? Niggas keep talking all this. I keep, he keeps saying, Devin, I keep seeing Devin Haney talk about, yo, I, it was a good fight. It was a, a good fight with Scrap. Right. So you gotta, I got I got to take put on, on this your though. ass three different times in yeah, the fight. I got to take on this. Like, and I was, I, was, I was trying to explain to somebody, like, Garcia is a weird fighter. He's an orthodox fighter that his most strongest punch is his left hook which is his lead hand so if you box you already know that's already frontwards which is weird so his natural instinct is when you're hitting him to either jab or hook you off to get you off of him but that's his knockout punch which is very very dangerous haney was winning a fight for the most part outside of the tops that he like ron actually got a clean hit because he's way stronger than him Haney was actually boxing him throughout the matches. He was winning rounds boxing. The match, the rounds he lost was when he got hit and got knocked down. And it happened to be a lot. <laughs> but every other round, he actually outboxed them throughout the fight. So this is a, a take of power versus technicality and power I one think, in this. I ain't see I don't I don't think he was winning that fight, bro. I'm no, I I didn't I think he was going to win because I already knew that one good hit no, can no, knock no, no. him down. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying from I'm saying watching the fight, I didn't think Devin was winning the fight at all. Nah, he was he was cleaner. He he had like Bash pointed out some stuff. He was trying. Um, Ryan Garcia was trying to do the little shoulder roll and was turning oh, bro, his back. That shit don't matter like that. when you keep getting put on your ass, bro. Like, but that it, t- it got to that. Match. It got to that, yeah. It got to that straight but out it, the gate, round first round. He got hit with with a, with a bang, and that nigga was wobbly. He had the spaghetti legs, bro. Like <laughs> that shit don't yeah. leave people's memories, man. Like yeah, ooh. but he lost the next three four rounds after that. Nah, he ain't. Hell no, he did. Nah, ain't no way, bro. Did, did he, you see the scorecard, my nigga? Is that, that, yeah, no I way. did. He 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 didn't. He lost the next three or four rounds after that, and, he, and it wasn't he. Um, Garcia didn't win the next until he hit him again, like knocked him down again in the fifth or sixth or something like that. Like nah. he was out boxing him throughout the out the actual. I, I, let me find the scorecard. Yeah, because I, I disagree from what I saw. I don't listen. There's no, yo, bro, you lost. You got your ass whooped. He definitely did. <laughs> whooped. He was getting mopped. Look, Molly dribble, whopped. Dribble said Google must have didn't see the fight. <laughs> no, I seen the fight. I definitely bro, I was in fight. here telling him, bro, I'm like, yo, bro, this dude is getting beat the hell up, bro. I was saying, I'm like, yo, bro, there's no way, yo. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't care what that scorecard say, bro. This guy. Oh, yeah, that's not nah, that's true. That is true. Yo, he is, yo, bro, when he went down, his legs, it looked crazy to me. This is live. This is not later when you could see it. I seen it right. with my own eyes. Yo, the man legs was laying to the side and he looked brazy. It looked like he <laughs> couldn't get it back together. I know because my legs be funny money. So you know how when you after you finish having with a female and your legs is a little bit, you like, man, hold on, I gotta get my legs underneath me, bro. You know, you been 
That's how he looked, bro, for the whole remainder of the fight after he went down, bro. He just couldn't get his legs right, bro. That's a fact. Woozy, Woozy Fam Gamer said Garcia is a beast. He's oh, strong and he got that left hook is dangerous, bro. He rocked him to sleep. Boy, he rocked he everybody to sleep. He rocked multiple, Vegas to sleep. Yeah, that's a fact. Multiple, multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention he came in overweight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came in three pounds overweight. Uh, so that's the only reason why he didn't win the belt. You know what I'm saying? Automatically. Yeah, he was yeah. Dis- he was disqualified from winning the belt because he was overweight. You know what I'm saying? But it looked like Ryan Garcia ain't even give a fuck, bro. It looked like he was going in there. He was trying to make a statement. That, yo, that's what I started to think too, bro. Yo, hey, yo, if he masterminded this whole thing, bro. Oh he my did, god, bro. This, that, so that his, look, my, hit, that was his the unofficial part. scorecard. So the first round, somehow they tied it even. Yeah, I don't even want to hear that judge. I, right? We, yeah, that. We, no, we, all of them. We, all of them we, did that. Not just him. No, 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 all no. no I'm that. saying there's one judge who had the fight even, like oh, right. yeah, 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 at the yeah, end so, of the fight. So. He had eruption. Like, yeah, <laughs> but everybody else had Haney winning. The second, third, fourth, and fifth. And the sixth is, is kind of split between the three judges. And the seventh is when it got crazy because that's when he knocked them down twice. Oh. But but that's what I'm saying. He was boxing them, but it only ticked one hit. And after that, he never recovered after that second and third knock. It that was over. That wasn't one hit, though. That shit was. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. But I'm just. It was multiple hits. And Ryan was fighting the same way the whole fight. Yeah, but see, that's what that's the way Ryan. Devin Ryan even a, said it. He said, "Yo, I didn't expect them to jump on me like that." The fuck you mean? You ain't expect them to jump? He, oh, yeah, he, you meet he, him he in the boxes middle. and spurts. Word. You know, he, he, nah. what, what? That's what, what Yo, was Devin bro, doing? Who told you he was going to come <laughs> at your head, bro? <laughs> nah, but but what Garcia the? boxes and spurts. Like he'll come off and just wild on him, do do do, and then he'd be chilling the rest of the round and kind of just. Said you don't want to see me in the middle of the joint, bro. That let you know. He don't. He don't because Haney don't got power. That was Garcia. I I was who I was arguing with in the in the <laughs> Discord. You was uh, I you was, was uh, uh no yeah. that was that was no but that was that was Haney that said that. No, I was saying that Garcia got power because I was like, ain't no way you're gonna say he ain't got power when he got no, twenty no, no, what I'm knockouts saying Haney, out of twenty four fights. What I'm saying is Haney <laughs> was the one that was saying, meet me in the middle of the ring. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was him, man. He was saying that to Garcia, and Garcia like kept ignoring him and kept ignoring him. This is in the in the in the, in the press conference beforehand, and he kept he like, all right, all right, I'm gonna see you in the middle of the ring. Okay, you want to do that? All right, I'll see you in the middle. Of the ring. He rocked all of us to sleep, bro. <laughs> I'd have put every dime I had on Garcia. Now that was my next question. Know what I'm saying based off the months leading up to the fight. All the wild shit, the wild antics that we heard about Ryan Garcia and anything that was going on. Do y'all believe any of that to be true now, or was he just putting on a front? It was all fake, bro. It was the time. well, he's still doing it though, so I can't say it was fake. No, it's fake, bro. It's fake. Yo, he was able to say, "Hey, I got two million dollars if I get the odds to go down completely against me, I can drop the bag on myself." Oh, yeah, because he made and bread on the, himself, bro. Right, yo, it's <laughs> genius because everybody going to be like, yo, ain't no way this lunatic winning. Ain't that no way. He, say how, he, he turned two, right. two mil into... $12 million. Twelve mil, Yeah, 12. It was something crazy. That's the hardest jokes I ever seen, bro. In tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I, I already I already knew Garcia. Garcia is that weird fighter where it's like, unless it's Tank or Floyd or somebody else... I'm always the one going to root for him, um, even though he's not the better fighter. He just has that that power that he can knock you out, and I want to see that. And that's why I kind of root for that. But Haney, even with the loss, Haney is a better boxer. He just don't have no damn power, and he's going to get knocked out every time he play, he fight Garcia because it only take one counter punch to put him on his ass. And now he's scared of it. <laughs> so when And he's going to have to fight Ryan Garcia again. If Ryan C. Garcia chooses to, because he's the number one contender for the belt since he beat him already. Um, 
But I think I heard something about Ryan doesn't want to drop. He wants to stay at the 147. He doesn't want to drop weight. Da 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 da. I think the win was more or less for him bigger than the actual belt and all that. So that's why I think this fight was kind of interesting because I think the belt's more important to Haney. Ryan is like, I'm going to just beat your ass and get the bag. And that's all he really care about. Um, so it was, it was interesting. Right? It was one of the, the real fights that I actually was like wanted to watch in a while. Like it, 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 it I liked it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we don't get that excitement from fights do, and no more like that. Do y'all think? Do y'all think we see him and Tank again? Oh, um, no. He uh, said he's not dropping down the weight. Hmm. Yeah, he said he wants to stay at 147, and Tank is, I think, 130 or 135 or something like that. Yeah, but he, so I don't he think... said he he called out Tank. He said, "Listen, he said, heck no." Man. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, no. Right. I want to see that again. What, Garcia and Tank? Yeah. Uh, that'd be a dope fight. I don't want to see Garcia and Devin again, bro. I'm, I'm off that, bro. Well, yeah, they said they were going to run that back, too. I'm off. Well, he kind of have to for the belt. He don't even need the belt. The belt don't mean nah, he don't. That's he what don't I was just saying. To, but... The belt don't mean nothing, right? Devin, you holding a piece of... Silver and plastic, right now, bro. You're good, bro. Leather and plastic, and leather and silver. Right, that's one of them situations where it's like, yeah. yo, bro, you can have that, you can have the hardware, <laughs> but we all know who the true champion is, crap. Yeah, it's over for we that. We all bro. know who the winner really is. Know what I'm saying, yeah. you can walk around with that shit all you want. Fact, know what I'm saying, there's gonna be a bunch of motherfuckers looking at you like, nigga, you do not right. deserve to have that shit on your shoulder. Could. If it wasn't oh, for right him right not which. meeting the weight, it'd have been a. F- and people, you Good. know, they start throwing up the pictures, look at him versus the weight. Da da da. It's just like uh, either either he way, took the he, fight, bro. He shouldn't have yeah. took it, bro. Yeah, that's a fact. Like you knew what it came with, like you. But in that instance, he still that has power. Team, but that goes to his team too. Like who the fuck set that up, bro? Because. He thought he was still going to win. That's what he, it comes down to. Nah, but I'm just saying there's certain things you got to have in place, like certain clauses. You know what I'm saying? Like, he you, did. How you, <laughs> he Because, look, he still even if belt. he came in overweight, like he, that's at the weigh-in. That's not yeah. right on the, the day of the fight. Yeah. On the day of the fight, Ryan probably even bigger than that. Yeah. Because they don't got to know, they don't got to know a hydration clause. They didn't have no uh, no hydration clause in that joint. So Broken Devin, now I'm saying he depleted himself to make sure he made weight. Yeah. At 140. You feel me? And yeah. Meanwhile, this nigga's over here. He drinking at the weigh in and all that. This nigga chilling. Ryan Garcia, like he said, he drank beer every day prior to the fight. This nigga was disrespectful. Nah, but he was capping because uh, yeah, he was capping. He said, yeah, he said he was capping. He said it was apple juice or some shit like that, or some shit like that. That's why I was saying, yo, did he pull the wool over niggas eyes, man? You know what I'm saying because yeah, because we even spoke about it on here a while back. Where it was like, yo, this nigga bugging out. This nigga tweaking. Yeah, but he's still on the same shit even after the fight. He's like, well, I'm prosecuting the kids and taking it to such and such. Like, he's still on that shit right now. I so. mean, because they clicking, clicking and. Yo, you gotta keep getting your money, bro. Okay. Yeah. I just figured that it'd be over. Like you wouldn't hear nothing about it. Know, he got his bag, he out. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, nah, he not out know. here, YouTuber, bro. YouTubers he ain't out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get running up, bro. <laughs> YouTubers ain't got no, you know what I mean? Yo, we got we gonna fall back for a little nah, heck no. He is the true YouTuber the boxer though. Like shots yeah, Logan or oh, what I, I always get the brothers mixed, but I think is it Logan? Or Jake, no, I don't no, know but, no, no, but Ryan Garcia was a boxer. He was a boxer. He's been a he's been a boxer forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's but the I mean he, he, six. he was a boxer who then started doing YouTube. You know yeah, saying? he he does it better. <laughs> yeah, because he he's better. a real boxer. Yeah. I mean? He's not he's not he's a trained boxer since he was a kid. Okay. The mother niggas ain't that. The mother niggas just, they got bored and they just felt like doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> That's tough. But shots, I mean, I, I'm interested in what, what Ryan Garcia got coming up. Um, 
whether he fights Tank. Haney is kind of they they put secure they they dropped him so far down the list even with the belt it's ridiculous. He got like four or five people ahead of him now. Like when they did the rankings for middleweight, so like he, yeah, I don't know. It's rough. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. I mean, you got listen. You the champion. This is what come with being a champion, man. This is heavy is the crown. You know what I'm saying? Listen, this is what comes with you being that guy. Know what I mean, you got to be yep. able to withstand that. You got to be able to stand tall under pressure. Know what I mean, if not, nigga, pass that shit off, man. Let a real yeah. champion. Know what I mean, hold that. You feel me? Because this this is what it is. This is what come with it. I nah, mean, and now you know your main, your next fight now. How you? I don't He's even cooked. know after this. Like nobody will, gonna want to see your next fight because who you gonna fight? That's yep. you. You either gotta fight somebody like Shakur. Know what I'm saying, or and if he and if he fight Shakur, I ain't gonna lie. That might get Cook, bro. For, for more. Know what I mean, so. His his only direction might be to run it back with Ryan. Yeah, but if he loses again, that shit is ugly. Well, that well, that's what it comes down to, though. He got a now. Can he go against uh, what's his name? What's the old boy uh, that was supposed to be? He's still around. Who? Uh, Who? He lost a couple fights. Uh, Are you talking about Adrian Bruno? Yeah, he can fight Adrian Bruno. Oh, nah, I don't nah, know. Nah, I don't know. That nigga's wash. <laughs> that is a charity <laughs> fight. He do that shit. Even... <laughs> and Adrian Brown way rankings. heavier than a oh, Rankings? Yeah. That nigga's <laughs> off the map. <laughs> Dang. I, was, I mean, I like, and you know, I like Adrian Brown. He just, I don't know what happened. Like, he... <laughs> I don't know what happened as well. I'll tell you what happened. He's talking well shit. And he got laid the fuck out. Yeah, but that was part of his gimmick. Like he got real. Yeah, like that's part of his gimmick. He was supposed to keep up with the boxing and stuff. His idol was was Floyd. Like, see, he followed that well and he fell off. No, like, he didn't follow that well. Floyd ain't going in and get his shit laid. No, no, no not out. boxing wise. I'm talking <laughs> I'm talking the shit talking. And like he was really good at shit talking and promoting the fighting. And it really looked bad when he got knocked the fuck out. Multiple times. It wasn't just once. Really look bad is not the word. You know what I'm saying oh, that's <laughs> not the even that. That's and, but did he get kicked out anyway? He lost his license or some shit, bro. It was that. It went downhill after that. That shit was a domino effect. You know what I'm saying <laughs> that shit was the Titanic, my nigga. That's tough. You feel me? You gonna go out there? You gonna talk all that? The, the difference with niggas. See, this is where niggas get this shit fucked up at. Floyd could talk all that shit he want. Floyd go out there and he back that shit up. Yeah. Okay. He put in the work. He's a fucking work freak. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying? That's one thing that everybody always speak about when it comes to Floyd. And it's his don't work drink, ethic. Don't know smoke. He runs and everywhere. Don't play around when it comes to that shit. Like, that's his life. Yeah. Discipline. You feel me? He's dedicated to that. You feel yeah. me? So you can't, you can't be wall. trying to, yeah. You know, you can't be trying to be somebody who you yeah. not following. Yeah, you're not like that, bro. You feel me? You not made yeah. like that, and you're, you're not, not dedicated like that. You not, you gotta have. That's a different level of dedication, man. Yeah. yeah. It's not just have a mouthpiece on you and talk shit. Yeah. Nah, you got to go out there, and back it up. Nah, that's I mean, what I love that's about Floyd. Happened. That's what happened to him. Know what I'm saying because people was fucking with Broner before that. Mm-hmm. People was definitely yeah. fucking with Broner. Know what I'm saying and he went out there. Know what I'm saying he got his fucking. I remember that nigga. I remember him. I remember this shit vividly. He's okay. walking through the tunnel back to the back after he got laid the fuck out. Got his ass whooped and his face looking brazy. And all that talking and all that energy. Where was it? It was nowhere to be found. Yeah, good stuff. I I think it's just how if he you carries going, himself. I'm saying if you're going to be like that, when you win, you got to be like that when you lose too. Absolutely. 
you got to keep the same energy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what turned a lot of people off when it came to Broner. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, man, this nigga. And the, the crazy costume. part is, like, he he don't got a bad record. He's 34 and 4, right, with one tie. It's just, that's why I said I don't know what happened in a sense, because, like, he had the persona to run with that, and he still got a decent record. So if he would have stayed on track and did what he was supposed to, he could have, bo- even with the losses, he could have still boxed. You get what I'm saying? But I think his t- his mouthpiece was the, the, the rise and the fall of everything. Like, he talked himself in, in and out of his own bag, in a sense. Um, that's and that's tough. tough. That's tough. Because 34 and 4 is not a bad record at all. It's not like he was in there getting his ass beat left and right. He got 24 knockouts out of his 30, 20, 35 wins and only four total losses. So, boxing wise, career, he's had a hell of a boxing career. It's just some of the moves he made was just ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and he lost to some notable people. He lost to Manny Pacquiao. Um, yeah, he did get beat. His ass beat by Ashley, but <laughs> yeah. It's bad, bro. All right, well, no, no, Mikey Garcia. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I got you. It is what it is, nah, man. Uh, yeah, I think uh, like like uh, bad shit. You know what I'm saying that was that was like a movie. That was like a movie jokes. That shit that Ryan Garcia <laughs> just pulled off. You know what I'm saying that's a, a fact. motherfucking heist. <laughs> 